Have you ever heard of the JET show plan feature of the Access database engine? Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Last week I recorded a video about indexing access tables and a little bit about query performance. And in that video I mentioned a tool or rather a feature of the Access Database Engine called Jet Show Plan. And this is a feature that might be useful for expert access developers or people who aspire to become access experts. And so um, as it is a bit of almost forgotten law in the access developer world, I thought, well, while we are at it, I make a quick video about that. Jet Show Plan is actually a registry flag that forces the Access Database Engine, the Jet Engine, which has become now the ACE Database Engine, to output information about how it executes a query. That is in uh, database terms called the execution plan of a query. And most people do not know that there is even the option to have the database engine of Access create this execution plan for its queries. And this execution plan can become very useful when you are dealing with a complex query and that query is not behaving in terms of performance, it's not behaving as you expected it to be. So while you will very rarely use it, it is very, very important that you know it is there just in case you need it someday. So, and there's another reason I'm making this video about uh, the Jet Show Plan feature, and that is I forgot to mention something about indexes last week. And if you don't know that, you might be making little mistakes with indexes in Access and you might be wondering why is my query still slow even there is an index that should speed up the query. And the Jet Show Plan output is exactly the right tool to find these types of errors. So um, that comes together and is the reason or are the reasons why I'm doing this video. But let's dive right in. I'll show you how to enable the Jet Show Plan feature and how to use it and look at its output. This is the RecEdit registry editor for the Windows registry. And this is what we need to turn off uh, rather turn on the Jet Show Plan feature. It is located below the HG local machine, so you need administrator permission to set that feature, unfortunately. But I go to software and that is important. I run 32-bit access on my machine, which is a 64-bit machine. And this 32-bit subsystem on 64-bit uh, computers is isolated and the registry settings are usually located below this WOW6432 node. So I expand that, move to Microsoft, to Office, here it is, and I'm showing you Access 2013 and that is Office version 15. And don't make the error, don't go to Access, but to the Access Connectivity Engine, ACE. And here's the folder Engines. And below this folder, folder we need a new registry key that is called Debug. So I create this new key and name it Debug. And Inside this debug key, we need a new string value that's just called jet show plan. I always um, see that written in all caps, and that's the way I write it here. I think it 
works with lowercase also, but uh, just to make sure I use all caps. And then I edit the value and put in the value on. And now we can leave the registry editor and start up an access database. So here it is. And this is actually my indexing demo database. You might have seen last week already. And now last week I had this macro to run a query. Now that I've turned on the Jet Show Plan feature, I should have a new file in my documents folder and that is this one. It's called show plan out and it will always be put in your documents folder. So I can open that with any text editor. It is linked to the standard notepad thingy. And I let me adjust that for a second here. And now you see there's not much in here but this is the query I just ran in my database and you see a bit of stuff that got locked in here. The inputs is the table. There was just one table in the query and this is already one very important part. It's restricting rows. It's filtering rows of that table. And this is what we want to see here. Using Rushmore means that the Rushmore index technology is used for restrict rows by this expression. And that is actually the query expression from my query. I just go to the SQL view of my query and you see this is the where condition of my query and that is reflected in the show plan out feature. So this is usually a very good sign seeing the using Rushmore that indicates your query is actually using an index. So I was mentioning an omission in last week's video and just a really, really quick recap. Yes, this is, is a linked table. I'm not going to change it, but I want to show you the indexes in the underlying backend table. And you can see that in the linked table as well, but you cannot change them. And the important part here is this three column index. That is one index built from two co uh, three columns that are inside that index together. And I was talking about that a little bit last week, so I'm not going into much detail here, but the important part is the column product ID. It is included in this index, but it is in second position in the list of fields here. I've got a little query prepared here and it's just using one simple expression here. It filters for the product ID and uses the value 10. And now when I run this query, it is pretty fast, but if I scroll to the last record, it is going to be pretty slow. You see it's working and working and working. And that is because, well, because I've got lots of records in here to um, make performance problems apparent, but it has another problem. And I feel, yeah, this query should run faster because of that index I just showed you. And now we move back to the show plan out feature. This record records all queries that are executed while the registry flag is turned on and all the new queries will be appended to the text file. And now you see this is... Where is it? Here. This is actually my query production ID. 
and you see it restricting rows, restricting rows, and it uses a temp query that usually belongs to the query above, if you see temp query. And then you see, yeah, that is the expression I was filtering for, and you see it restricted rows by scanning. And that means the whole table is scanned. Access read the whole data of the whole table to find the records I was looking for. That is meaning it was not using an index. And that is in most cases a quite bad query plan because it is very, very slow. And the reason that the index is not used is that it is not having the product key as the first column in it. That is something I missed last week and that is what I am going to rectify here. If you got a multi-column index, you will only see benefits from it if you use the first field in your query. Then you can additionally use the second field and you will benefit even more in the third field. But if you start with the second field as we did in this query, the index is not used at all because it's not beneficial to the execution of the query. So here we are in another database. It's very simple as well, but it contains a query with four tables in it and a couple of expressions and an aggregate function and the group by expressions here. And now I'm going to run this query. And in the meantime, I deleted the existing show plan out file. So we are only going to see the results from this query execution in the show plan file right now. So here we are. This is a temp query of msys objects that has nothing to do with um, the query I wanted to show you that was an access internal query that was run for whatever reason only access knows it knows it. This is the query I just executed in the database and you see a lot of information about the tables that are used in that query. You see several columns in here, statistics about the columns and if there is a primary key on it that obviously forbids null and all these are indexes in that table. Now you see a list of all the other tables and this is the description of the inputs only. So quite a lot of information about our tables. If you look at the, the query execution and have all this information about the indexes handy, that is very beneficial already. And now you see how this query was executed. You see there was a join on a table using index. That is always good. If you see a join expression in the show plan out file and there's not anything mentioned about an index, then you probably got an index missing in your database. So these are the join expressions here. It uses the primary key index for that table and the primary key for another table. And the final step of the query is the grouping of the results because I used an aggregate function and several group by expressions. So all this information ends up in this show plan file. So that just to, to show you what kind of information is in there. I'm not going to dive any deeper than this today and I have to admit I'm probably not the right person to do so because I rarely use Access Database backends in my day-to-day -day development work and I think it's been 15 years since I last used the Jet Show Plan feature to really tune a query. I dug that up today 
to show it to you and to prevent this from being completely forgotten and vanishing off the internet because this feature is not documented by Microsoft. You are not going to find anything official on this one. So you need to rely on sources like this video. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.